grab a glass of wine <laughs> and let's talk about cultural shock in Poland these are not the cultural shocks that you are familiar with so the first cultural shock I'm gonna say is when you are going to shop for things or for groceries please go along with your shopping bag you see in africa for an example when you go to buy things you have been giving your things into a shopping bag but here in poland you have to go with your shopping bags and if you don't you are going to buy or pay a fee for the shopping bag so trust me you don't want to end up spending all your money every time buying shopping bags so it's just best you go along with your own shopping bag which is you know quite different from where we are coming from where our groceries are being given to us you know in our hands so please go with your shopping bag okay number two cultural shock is the way they display love the way they display love <laughs> and you know i think i've grown to really like it because seeing people not just young people i really don't like it when i see young people like very young people do that but seeing like old people who still hold hands we still kiss on the road we still you know show this love outside can be so beautiful when i see old couples do that however here in poland they show or display their love at every opportunity and every point that they find it okay now in terms of love i'm also going to say that if you are looking forward to dating a polish or if you're looking forward to date or interracial marriage is also very easy here not like some countries where it can be very difficult to find interracial marriage or interracial relationships i feel like here you know polish people are open to date blacks especially like their ladies are more open to this like black guys compared to you know polish guys dating black ladies but let me know what you think in the comment section so they are very open with interracial marriages or relationships and they are friendly apps like tinder like you know bamboo where you can easily connect to the love of your life so if it's something you're interested in please go ahead and explore have fun but also be careful because you get ready to also display that love outside because you know back home in africa we are not very comfortable with displaying love or kissing outside or touching outside but yeah you are gonna see it a whole lot of time so cheers to many more interracial marriages and relationships the third one that i'm gonna say when it comes to cultural shock which of course is everywhere or almost everywhere it has to do with the weather i think that when it comes to the weather polish or poland is actually very cold it's a very cold country compared to africa where we are coming from and that just includes like snows during like winter season but it's also fun to experience snow i feel like that is also an experience that coming from african country you might not really get to see snow in africa so in poland it's actually very cold however one thing i really don't like also about the weather is that during spring or summer it gets very bright easily so as early as 4 a.m 5 a.m everywhere is really bright and you end up waking up early you know and during winter it gets dark very easy so during winter you can like 4 p.m during winter 5 p.m during winter everywhere is dark and that just have a way to mess up with your mind because like you want to go out but you're looking outside and outside is very dark and you're like oh it's dark i can't go out anymore meanwhile it's just 4 p.m it's just 5 p.m but because the weather outside looks so dark it's kind of like discourages you from going out you know and also during summer or spring you have to wake up early or you tend to wake up early because the day gets bright easily so it's hard the way to like mess up with your sleeping you know pattern but it's not something too bad you just have to get used to it along the line so i think that also has to do with like cultural shock coming from africa 
another cultural shock which is not also very common or very popular is the fact that um, polish people really don't greet they find it very difficult to communicate or to relate with you or to greet you on the road or outside or in public places or even in the same building so you can have polish people or you can live with you know polish people in the same building sharing the same kitchen sharing the same toilets and you might not get to have conversations with them or you might not even get to relate to them you know this is not that they are proud it has nothing to do with them it's just their own the way they are brought up their own culture they are not very comfortable outside their comfort zone and another thing about polish people that i'm gonna say as a cultural shock is that they're a bit very timid on relating to people and this simply means that maybe because they are not very good at speaking english for some of them so they can be very timid to relate with you who speaks english so you can find them in the elevator for an example they know what to say they want to talk to you but they are not so confident about their english language so they would rather keep quiet than trying to even speak to you that speak english right but the moment you greet them in polish even though it's something as simple as gin don't break the moment you greet them in polish then you see them smile and then they greet you back and that simply means that you've broken you know you've broken into their space by telling them that oh gin don't break it, it makes them happy and that makes them wants to relate with you you know by just speaking polish but aside that randomly they don't easily start off or kick off conversations because they're a bit timid about them not speaking language and that has to do with like language difference or also language cultural shock another thing again about the language cultural shock is that as an international student or someone coming from nigeria it's also very necessary that if you want to really stay in poland for a very long time which i feel like is something that everyone wants to do it's also very necessary or important for you to try and know polish i know that polish language is also one of the most difficult languages in the world trust me it's actually very difficult and also because it has like a whole lot of consonants in between and also like that's the way you speak to a man is from the way you speak to a woman so language is also a very big factor from your end and also from their end because from their end they are not able to relate with you freely because they are not so confident in speaking english for some of them and also from your end you have to know polish to be able to interact with them or to be able to build that bond with them to an extent so cultural shock is also something very important another thing i'm gonna say stress again another thing i'm also gonna say is that they don't wash their shoes or their sneakers i don't know if they have like a personal thing with it or maybe it's not their culture or something you know in nigeria or in africa we believe that we are supposed to be clean from head to toe including our shoes but when you get to Poland, they are going to find a lot of dirty shoes, especially those that put on white shoes. Like their shoes are going to be dirty and they are going to style it and wear it in a beautiful way. Even though you know, we both know that this shoe is dirty, especially the white shoes. But you will see them wear it with so much confidence, so much styling and they are like, can't you clean your shoe? It's just a cultural shock to us because in nigeria or in africa for an example we always ensure that we are clean from head to toe including our shoes but here you can find people who are clean from up to down but their shoes their sneakers the white one it's a no-no so get ready to see a lot of dirty white shoes when you get to poland another thing again i'm gonna say is that um here in poland they smoke a lot and uh, when it comes to smoking it's not just for the guys even the young ones even the females even the old one they smoke a lot like you hardly find people i don't think you can go out in a day without seeing people smoking it's, it's it's not possible of course this is not to say that people don't smoke back home or back in africa or back in nigeria of course people smoke there but people hide to smoke people don't smoke on the streets easily you know it just has to do with like you being responsible but here in poland you find people smoking freely on the streets both their women both their ladies you can even see 
old beautiful couples and the both of them are smoking on the streets you know it's just something that that's their culture that's something they are used to so coming from africa it's 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 a bit different to really understand but it's just what it is and you don't have a choice than to just like you know take away your eyes from it so another cultural shock i'm gonna say is the fact that you know like generally right christmas is 25th of december but here in poland they celebrate their christmas on 24th instead of 25th so on 24th of december it's when they celebrate their christmas where families come together to celebrate christmas and then on 25th it's just like a normal day but compared to africa where 25th is the day that people gather to celebrate Christmas, right? But here in Poland, it is on the 24th that you're going to have this family gathering, this Christmas celebration rather than on the 25th. So that's like a bit of cultural, you know, shock. Another cultural shock, which is very important, is that everything, except for women being here in Poland, everything here has expiring dates. Get ready to see a lot of expiring dates eggs are going to have expiring dates bread have expiring dates milk has expiring dates everything has expiring dates everything you put into your mouth has expiring dates and coming from africa or nigeria this is not to say that we don't have expiring dates but here in poland their expiring dates are pretty too close like you can buy egg and the egg you just the expiring dates on the eggs can just be a week or two weeks max you can buy snacks or even something as little as milk or even something like bread and the expiring date is just very close so i'm going to say that it has a way to increase you know it has a way to increase food waste because especially as a single person living here you will end up buying things that you might not be able to consume at the end of the day because the expiring date is closed and thereby you will definitely have to throw it away so i think that expiring date just has a way to increase their food waste rather than in nigeria or africa where things expire right we have expiring dates but not very very close like the way it is here in poland another cultural shock that i'm gonna say is the fact that the country is a very organized country organized like even when you're walking on the road there's like pedestrian clustering there's green lights to work you know even in the car there's like rules there's regulations that people follow and you have to follow it strictly because if you violate any law then you're going to get fined or tax to be paid for such violation so i'm going to say that try as much as possible to learn certain laws that are necessary just by walking on the road or crossing the road if you don't cross at the right path or at the right spot where the light is green you are going to get fined for it if you have a car there are certain laws and rules that you should know on how to drive when to drive you know so these are the laws that or the rules that you really need to know even before you get into the country or when you get into the country try to familiarize yourself with common laws or common rules that will help you or prevent you from getting fined or being taxed so i hope with these few videos of mine you guys have been able to know that these are just a few cultural shocks amongst several cultural shocks you know that we have here in poland and let me know what kind of video you want to see in the comment section and i'm very open to sharing more cultural shocks in the comment section once again thank you so much for watching and cheers to a wonderful week ahead